Hello everyone, my name is Zuka and welcome to this new video about PVZ. I will present you a really, really easy build to execute in this matchup. So you will see, I will do it against a GA player and I will explain you every step of this. So let's go to the game. So like I said, this game has been done against a GM player. So you will see it's really, really easy. So, firstly, you open with a wall. So the probe will go out at 14, go to the wall. You put a pylon and you will send it to the scout. So it's over there. I will try to deny expand but you can't do it every time in this game i will not do it the probe will go out at 15 will be sent to the wall to put your gate then your gas so with this probe i will try to cancel the expand and to avoid the expand so i can do it but I know that it's a uh, at first, so no masgling at the beginning. At 20, I will put my Nexus, then my Civil Anti Core at 22. Not 22, at 22. <laughs> so I will try to do some fake photon rush. If you want to do it, just put your pylon over there and add next to the archery why why putting putting it over there it's simple the guy can see it and he can overreact if you put it over there he will almost never send a drone because he will never see it and it's a fake so you want to force an overreact so we will see what he will do with this drone so you overreact and you win some time you win some time it's good it's good for me so like i said i put my nexus then my cybernetic core after that at 21 i will put my gas then my pylon and i will saturate this gas First unit will be one adept, then other adept, then one stalker. You can do adept, stalker, adept, or stalker, adept, adept. It depends of the first overlord. If you go over your base, you can do an, a stalker first. But with a stalker first, you can't uh, you can't scoot, so not very interesting, not very interesting. Adept, stalker, adept is good, or adept, adept, stalker, as you want. So after that, I will put my cybernetic at one, uh, 100 gas over there in order to uh, to hide it. With this, with this um, adept, I will try to scoot the expand. The latter expand can be put put at four minutes. If at four minute mark you don't see any expand, it's probably um, a cheese or all in so just do um, a fast uh, mothership core you, you can see I don't do any mothership core on my on my build so there is um, uh, actually who is finished at this timing it's a really fast third so I'm safe against every cheese like mass roach or something like that if you want to scoot with your adept, just send back your shade and scoot with it. And don't lose it. It's, it's important to don't lose it. Try to kill some drone, but if you can't, not a problem. I put my robo, my robo really fast. You can do it at around 3 minutes mark, but not really important to make it a little later. At uh, 150 I want to put my uh, dark shrine but if he don't if he harass and it's good you don't put it uh, fast you uh, you you do an upgrade in order to fake it you will see I will do 
uh, resonative gla glaive. Sorry, I don't I don't know the, the word in English, but you do it, you chrono in order to fake him. So the the Zering will see a glaive, and he will don't he will don't he will not think about DT drop, because glaive are really common builders too. So after that, I will put three more gates. Why my gauge, my my dark rain, of course. Then three more gate. Why three more gate? In order to do a four DT drop. Four DT four DT drop is really good because you can do two archon after that, and you can harass really really well. So you see, two more than three more, and I will chrono my prism just after this. And I will put uh, one more gas. One, one more gas. Many players don't do it because they don't open with adept, adept, stalker. It's a little too defensive, but but uh, but uh, really good for for an easy build. For an easy build, uh, this opening can hold really, really many things. You can hold drop. You can hold um, arras. So this. This um, this uh, this stalker is really important in order to kill Overlord. At the moment, at around four four minutes mark forty, I will try to p to put my third base. So one more adept. Go to uh, send the, the free adept to the third base and put your stalker at the wall in order to full wall this. And put your buzz. You can do. You can put your buzz, and you will do a DT drop on the main at around uh, five minute mark. If you do a mazeling over there, it can happen sometimes. Just cancel it and go on the same build that I will do, but on two base. You can do it on three base or on two base. On three base is really more effective, but it can work on two base too. So no, just. 3, 4 DT and drop the main base. After that, at the same moment, I will put my second gas and I will do uh, some immortals, many, many immortals. You will see, with my drop, I will focus Spore, Queen, then base. So over there, I know that you have detection, not a problem. There is no spore, I will just kill Queen, I try and try to kill this base. Just kill this base. Force him to overproduce to do some overseer. And if he attack you, just micro. So when the Dark Templar is uh, is almost uh, dead, just send him in the prism. Like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. I will do two archons with that. At the same moment, you will see, I will do Immortal, then Xyla Charge, then, then Drone for the third base, and put Money Gate. You can go with like 12 Gate if you want. I do sometimes 10 Gate, sometimes 12, it, is, it depends on the game, really. But just Money Gate, and Every gas go on GT Archons and every mineral go on Xylot in order to charge. I will do like 3 mortals and attack at 8 minute mark. So at the same moment, I just drop, ju just drop, just do some arras, kill, over kill overlord and try to kill the base. I will try it. You see there is like 3 free watch not a problem for me i just kill them just kill them you have two archons it's really good and now i can try to kill the base i will kill it and if i do if i can do it i almost win the game to be honest on some map i attack the third base and it the the base die almost 90% of the time already so now I save my two Archons and I will just try to kill some Overlord and do and pre prepare my 
attack. So my attack will be an all in on free base with just zero charge, just Archon, just Immortals. You see, I will try to harass, so try to find some overlord to kill, like this one. Really easy to kill, so kill it and go back. I kill it and bye. See you. Just Archons, just Immortals, and don't never, never, never forget the Zillow charge. Really important. And don't attack after 8 minute mark. 8 minute mark is a good timing because after that the Zerg, the Zerg just overproduce. You are at 8 minute mark, you are in a really good spot if you wait like 13, 30 seconds, you are in a bad spot. You will see it's a really the best timing to attack. So just Archons, Zyla Charge, and attack. So the 8 minute mark is almost over there. I have three mortals, I will do one observer, but I will attack now. In this map it's really powerful because the third base is a close position base. You see now just Zealot, 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 Zealot and attack. If he do some like bandling, I just send my Zealot at the back and tank with Archons and, immort and Immortals. You see? He do really many bailing, really many bailing, like 29. So, Archon over there and one Archon over there and you will see the Zealot will be sent back. Like this, like this. Archons over there and Zealot will be sent back. He try to circle me but not a problem, really not a problem for me. I have Zealot charge and I just warp more and more and more unit. I'm with like 10 gates, I can have some more gates, you see I have many mineral minerals, but I didn't do them. Like you see, a really easy win. This build is really effective against composition like Ravager, cause Ravager are low, have a lower life than Roach. And with zero charge, it's really hard for the Zerg to like send corrosive bill. So hard. Uh, against Hydralisk, it's really good because you have Zilot uh, with charge. So um, it really destroys Hydralisk. Archons are really good too. Against Zerling Bandling, you have Archons. It's good. Against Mass Watch, it can be sometimes a little hard if the Zerg have a good mi micro. But it's really the only hard composition and it's, it's really uncommon. Thank you for watching, I hope you like this video. So you can put a thumbs up if you really like it. You can share it and see you in the next video. Bye!